I try my best to ignore those idiots. But they are not just idiots, you know, those are criminals. And I'm not even responding to this filthy. You know, those people, they are. Uh, they knew. They are full of hatred. And they use the freedom of the West, which is the freedom of speech. Like, they protect themselves when they speak by making what they say is not clear. So I wanted to make this video just to show you how filthy when a human being, he believe in such a dog like Muhammad. I don't want to be look like I'm insulting Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad, absolutely not. As you know, I respect him a lot. I mean, this guy, when he raped, he raped justified rape. And when he killed, it's justified kill. When he have sex with the children, it's justified sex with the children. When he beat a man to tell him where is the money he hiding, his money, his saving all his lifetime, it's justified stealing. So Muhammad is a person of just. And Muslims who follow Muhammad, obviously, they are people of just. Uh, I call Lili Dawa, I call him Lili for a reason. But today I'm going to call him a whore. I don't want to call his mother. It's not nice to call somebody mother. Maybe she is a good woman, I don't know. But this person is a whore. He found that Hamas are wonderful people. And he made this video to show us how amazing Hamas is. Like, remember, he don't dare. He don't dare to say, I support Hamas. You know? He don't dare. Look at this face. Satanic, demonic. I mean, even your head is a head of a Satan. You see, I don't make fun of people. Look, this is not about a look. This is about the evil spirit within you. We Christians, we don't make fun of somebody. Look, because we believe God created all of us. But you have a demonic spirit within you. Look at your eyes. Listen to what this filthy scumbag whore just said. I'm Tony Barakel, two brothers and sisters and dear friends. We are going to be reacting to a video that I came across on Instagram of a Israeli woman who was taken hostage with her daughter, if I'm not mistaken, and they were released by Hamas. And here is some things, some peculiar things she saw in her daughter that she found maybe odd. We're going to react. This woman, she found something odd. He just said odd. He just said this is odd. Okay, what is odd? So she is kidnapped with her daughter. So first of all, the scumbag son of Muta. Shouldn't you ask yourself, what kind of people they kidnap a woman with her daughter? A child baby? And Hamas is nice? Okay, what Hamas did, tell me. React to that. This is from an Israeli TV station themselves. So oh. in this uh, video, I just wanted to bring it to your attention. I found it very like surprising to hear the treatment um, that they got. Subhanallah. So Subhanallah. to us, like I said before, as Muslims, we condemn anybody for that matter, this organization, state, country, individual, group, whatever they are for that matter, who kill innocent people, who, like I said before, take hostages, prisoners, whatever you want to call it, uh, unjustly. Subhanallah. We are unjustly. So do you see the son of Muta? He said he condemned any people, but he bought the, all the pictures he bought for Israel. He's not condemning Hamas. So what he's saying, and this is why I wonder why, why YouTube, they keep protecting those people, just because they make a lot of money for them. He just said he condemned the one who kidnap and take hostages unjustly. So he is saying it clearly, and he said when he condemned, he put the pictures of Israel, the state of Israel, all of Israel. He did not put any picture of Hamas. And he said that there is a justified kidnapping. He is against unjustified. Let me play it again in case you did not notice. This one, when I say to you, this religion is demonic, satanic, filthy. Don't believe me. Listen to them. So based on what this idiot he said, if somebody kidnap his daughter, if he have one, if he have a justified reason, it's okay. If somebody rape his daughter, as Hamas did, and we will show you later, it's okay because it's justified. He's against anything is not any any kidnap or taking hostages is not justified. Not just. So there's a just kidnapping. There's a just rape. And this is what Hamas did. 
statement um, that they got, subhanAllah. So to us, like I said before, as Muslims, we condemn anybody for that matter, this organization, state, country, individual, group, whatever they are for that matter, who kill innocent people, who, like I said before, take hostages, prisoners, whatever you want to call it. But he's a prophet, is a rapist. He's a prophet, he killed all the Jewish tribes. He took their women, he raped their women, he raped their children, and he is he condemned, brother. Listen carefully. He condemn anyone who do that showing Israel, only Israel, Israeli. By the way, when the last time we heard the Israeli raping Palestinian women? Never. So if the Israeli now heard you, maybe they should do what you said. Justify it. You rape their women. Based on what you are saying, will they have the right to return the favor? And now they are in control of Gaza. They have all the two million inhabitants of Gaza under their shoes. They can rape as they wish. They can kidnap as they wish. They can torture. I will show you what this, uh, you know, this is why I put a warning in the title because I don't want people to watch unless be sure there's no kids around you and you will hear things is disgusting. So if you are not, if you don't like to hear it, just leave. I'm just telling you what we will do after we finish with this scumbag. So if you are a person who is very soft-hearted, you don't like to hear stories, I'm not going to show you images. We will hear stories. But look what this donkey he did. What he did actually, he is criminalizing his religion. Because he is condemning his prophet. Like if I go right now to the hadith, I will just type one word, not five, not ten, not twenty, you know, Al-Mustaliq, which is a name of a tribe. Muhammad attacked them for no reasons whatsoever. They did not attack him, they did not kill him, they did not fight him, but as usual, he is a scumbag like Hamas. And Hamas, actually, they are following the footsteps of Muhammad, and the funny is, you will see people say this is against Islam. Islam does not promote that. You're right. <laughs> Isn't it this is your prophet? Isn't it this? Hor, his name is Qatham. He changed his name to Muhammad, the praised one, to cover his shame. Abdullah said that the prophet made an attack on Bani al Mustaliq, attacking their camels. He killed the fighting men and he took the children as captives. But hold on, the story here is not complete. Let us see more. Here you will see how Muhammad, he says, he took the women and the children. Here it says, uh, Look at this. This is exactly what the filthy followers of the scumbag Muhammad did in October 7. This is why you people, you need to be careful and be armed and ready. Those scumbags, especially if you live in those countries, you have to be ready for them. They will not come to you when you are aware. They will stab you in the back. It says here, the Prophet had suddenly attacked Bani al-Mustaliq without warning while they were headless and their cattle were being watered at the place of water. So those people, they are just living peacefully, doing their life business. They are not fighting. There is no tribe, you know. They live in their tents, their houses around, etc. You know? They took their animals to the water to, uh, uh, you know, as all shepherds they do, all days. And Muhammad, he attacked them when they are headless without warning. He, didn't, he don't have anything against them. He just wanted to have the women and the animals and the children and the money and the gold and the silver, and he killed them in. So he attacked them when they are headless, and they were watering their animals in the water place. Their fighting men were killed, which means the one they were trying to defend. They were killed. And their women and children were taken as captive. 
And then the Prophet, he took Juriya right away. He took a woman. She is young. She just, he, you know, he killed her husband. He killed her family. She is very beautiful. And he chose her to be his sex slave. First time they will say to you, but do you know later that Muhammad, he even freed those people? He gave them a freedom after he enslaved them? Muhammad, he heard that the, the cousin's tribes of Bani al-Mustaliq, they are preparing to attack him for revenge. So he announced he is going to marry this slave who he took. And he told her, I will let your cousins go free. Very filthy, the same as now the Israeli. The Israeli are coming to Gaza, cease fire, we will give you the hostages. So they heard the news that the families, the cousins, the tribes, you know, those, those Arab, they are tribes, and they seek revenge. So he heard that they are preparing to attack him, and now he decided to find a way to fix it. And now this man, he claimed that as a Muslim, they are against taking hostages, but he said, unless it is justified. He is against kidnapping and raping unless it is justified. Let us play the video to show you how stupid this idiot. This guy is a stupid, by the way. Like he make a video to support Starbucks uh, 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 be caught, and then he himself is drinking uh, Costa. He attack a person for he said we cannot support be caught, and then he made a video himself saying, well, according to Islam, it is the ruler who should do that, not us. <laughs> but listen to what he will say now. Uh, unjustly, subhanAllah, we unjustly, are... Unjustly, you see? Unjustly, subhanAllah. Kidnapping and raping unjustly is not approved in Islam, brother. Subhanallah. You know what? I don't speak dirty, but I want to say the F4 to your Allah. I want to say the F4 to your Prophet. F4 to Abu Bakr. To every caliphate in Islam. And that is not justified because the effort is getting dirty when they touch those people. You filthy coward. Are you saying if somebody kidnap your daughter, it can be justified? Are you saying now if somebody come to your door at your home, just because you are a Muslim and he took your daughter, she is one day, one, two, two days old, eight months old, are you saying this is justified? You coward filthy. I don't use filthy words. But today I have to. If you look at the chat, you will see how many stupid people they have. We are talking about, look what we are talking at. The guy saying to me, uh, uh, Christian Prince, is your, your, uh, 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 your Billy is rambling. Are you hungry? He's listening to my Billy, this idiot. You know, it's not my Billy. I'm, I was farting at you. Those people, they are taking advantage of your people, your kids, and you are worried about my belly is rumbling? Stupid idiot. Look how serious our topic and look how trashy those people are. They don't care. Do you think this idiot, he will say that what he said if his daughter is the one is kidnapped? Subhanallah! Well, the F word to Allah, the one who created such a demonic cult, I never said that word online and neither out of line. I don't use this language. But I cannot find a better word to say to those filthy people. And look now what he is proud about. Let us hear what, what happened. I mean, what, uh, what happened? He have a video. He want to react to it. Go on against all of those things. This video is to show you guys from the Israeli TV station themselves of what she went through, the audio she went through, and what she learned from Hamas, surprisingly. What she learned from Hamas? What she learned? Guys, this Israeli woman, she learned from Hamas. No way. Are you serious? Did she learn how to clean her ass with the three rocks like Prophet Muhammad? Or Hamas was using toilet paper. Did she use? Did she learn how to use a cucumber as a sex toy like Aisha? Or she did not because she is an Israeli. She don't do that. Let us see what she learned from Hamas. Tell us, please. <laughs> See, look, look, look! How just to show you how stupid you idiot. 
you are trying to show us that this woman, this woman of Hamas, she become nice to this woman. But did you see what she said to her? She wasn't like this before. I mean, do you see how stupid this idiot Lili Dawa? She was not like this before. Suddenly, she said to her, go eat, eat. I wanted to eat. Why? Because they are releasing them second day. You stupid. And look, he cut from the whole interview only this. <laughs> she is going to be free. So now it's time to feed them. And look what she said, this woman. She said, is it okay if I share the food you just gave me with others? They are so hungry. More, they are more hungry. So which means Hamas are not feeding the hostages. They are not giving them enough food. So now this woman, she will be free. Her name is in the list. Remember, they release every day few. So now they decide to feed her. And by the way, her husband is still is, is still is still is kidnapped. <laughs> so look, look what you know. I mean, just to see to show you, I did not even get the video, the whole interview. I'm just playing what the whole Lili Dawa is posting for us, and the translation he have there for us. I don't know if translation is correct or not. I don't speak Hebrew. Is the translation clear, guys? Let me see if uh, if it is. Uh, uh, let's see. So my banner is not is not in the face of it. Let us see. Hold on. Okay, maybe this is better. Let us do it this way, maybe. All right, now this is will be better, I guess. And I uh, will zoom more here. Potato, what you just showed us proved that those filthy Hamas, they treat them like dogs. I'm just trying to make the, the text appear better, the best we can. Let us go. So though she's saying that she offer her food first before others, but let us see what happened. Look, look what will happen. That was not like that before. So she's saying now. So they treat you like this before. Then she said no. So now because they are going to release them, and she was released, and they are in the list to be released. Those who they are going to be released, they start feeding them. So he cut from the whole interview, this part. And this part proved that Hamas are good people. Can you believe it? And look what she will say next. So she offered me, even if I tell her I don't want to. She said, I don't want. She said, no, no, take, take. She goes, eat some for me. They are they are trying to make them eat because they are in a horrible shape. So the command from Hamas come in, those are going to be released, you need to feed them. It wasn't like that. She was not like that. This is new treatment. What happened? I asked her if they would suggest Listen carefully. She said to her, is it okay? Okay, what? If they ate together and offer food to those who were more hungry. So she is hungry. And the rest of the hostages kidnapped, they are more hungry. So now she is going to be released. And now the command came from their boss. Feed those who they are going to be released because you don't want them to look so bad when they are gone and in front of TV stations. So she said, is it okay that the food you gave me, I can share it with the other hostages who they are more hungry? Why there is more people hungry? If they are nice to everybody, why they are even hungry? What more hungry mean? And this woman, her husband is still with Hamas. She will not dare to say anything until her husband is out. So, can I share the one you gave me, the food you gave me with more hungry ones from the hostages? She said, okay, it's up to you. But why they are hungry? More hungry, which means she is hungry. And the hostages are the rest are more hungry because now she is giving different treatment. 
So the whole video here it says that now they are treating her different from others. They are treating the hostages. Remember, those are all women together. All the women together, women, children together, men are different place. So the other women hostages, they are more hungry and the children are more hungry, but only now her and her daughter, Hamas, are treating her nicer. If anyone speak Hebrew, he can you can tell us if the translation is correct because it sounds weird. Or share with everyone, and she nodded yes. So guys, you so guys, so guys, as you see, guys, Subhanallah, guys, do you see how amazing Hamas guys and YouTube did not ban this idiot son of Muta? So guys, do you see Subhanallah? You know, look how nice Hamas is. Look, she learned from Hamas. She learned from Hamas. You know, people defeat their dogs. You coward. So are you saying this woman, who is the wife of somebody of Hamas, she is a good woman, and she is making the rest hungry, and treating the one who is going to be released tomorrow better? What a coward, filthy son of Muta you are! What bar your mother she gave birth to you in? So guys, so guys, what happened? What happened? Tell us. You saw that video for yourself. Now, this is an Israeli television promoting this. Before I am accused of trying to sympathize with Hamas. or sh No, you are not. No way. Show them to be in a good light. Are you going to accuse the Israeli TV station from doing the same thing? <laughs> no, idiot. They are not. The Israeli TV, they are honest. You see? If it is an Arab TV, Turkish TV, a statement like this will never be out. Because you watch everybody's mouth and you shut them up if they speak. That can happen in Islamic TVs where nobody have a freedom of speech. But this woman, she is saying exactly what happened with her. But that will not change the fact, you filthy coward son of Muta, that she was kidnapped with her baby. So if they gave her food and the rest are hungry, that will make her approve how nice Hamas is. Keep your mouth open so we can put some shit in it. Anyway, your prophet, he ordered you to drink camera urine. It's just a shit liquid form. As you know, shit can come in many versions.